Righty-o. Let's get going. Even and all. Um, yeah, welcome to yet again another stream. This evening we are doing some logs down to Heathfield. Let's quickly unblank the game. Get the actual game up. So. So you're probably wondering, there's no logs on here, is there? There's not. But that is because we're going to go collect some. Let me just quickly get our signal up. Bro. Well, buddy, good evening. Yeah. Well, buddy, good evening. How you doing? Yeah, we're not going to be here in the grid for very long. Just got another loco waiting us up at Eiffel. Perhaps one that will be more familiar to everyone. More so than the grid. Brakes are squealing on those. No wagons. Why are they squealing? Have I forgotten to release something? Just taking a quick look through the manual. I don't think I've forgotten anything. But we will notch up slowly. So you begin to head down towards Heathfield with our logging wagons. Though the brakes don't drag, so I'm not sure what's going on. There we go. Heading down to Heathfield. So taking down a rake of seven wagons. Seven or eight. We'll go collect some down in Heathfield. Although, um, it won't be with the grid. We will have a uh, 66 waiting for us down there with some logs ready on the KSAs, all ready to go. So we're just really taking it down here as sort of a positioning. And say on the next load, um, 56 302 will take the load back. But we've already got one wait for us. Oh, oh is that a flat hacker maybe here? Yeah? It's not a knocking, it's sort of like a. Actually, I don't think it is a flat. Maybe I'm just imagining it. Uh, right. There we go. Pop back up front. So it's just sending a quick, mes uh, quick message then, sorry. We're going to enjoy the packs while we can. Is there a thrash mode in here? No. Ah, that's poor room. We are just going to thrash it all the way. We need to enjoy the packs while we've got it. Obviously, I could very well detach the local we've got up in Eiffel for the grid, but no. I'll tell you what we will do. We'll actually. This is ideal. 
for if um and you know what we will actually yeah what we'll do is we'll have fifty six um what do you call it fifty six three oh two go on the back of this consist up here and the other loco will then be will then take the train back down to Newton or be decoupled run around and probably pop in the siding from there the 56 will take it all the way just those random moments So it won't go rushing with the grid, because we'll be hauling it normally anyway. In fact, can we, we can load logs it, can we? Ah, that's a shame. Unless I use T when I'm stopped. Won't load. Ah, it's a shame they won't load. Okay. Ah, that's a shame. But welcome to um, the Teen Grace Crossing. You usually use this as sort of a back way to get into King Staten, which is up there somewhere. Sort of, yeah, the back way from Newton almost. Okay, I've actually got a plan of what we're going to do now. Yep, there they go. Log and wagons going down towards Team Grace even further. Ah, Max, good evening. How are you doing? Hoping to do restore the Heathfield line soon. Yeah, I hope you do as well. It'd be nice to have it back, but I think there's a lot of work that needs to happen. Because I think, if my memory serves me right, oh, and these barriers I think are backwards. They're meant to open into the line, I think, not out into the road. But I think, if my memory serves me right, when you look down there, this has all got trees all over it, so they've got a lot of work to do. Yeah. So the plan will be now to run it all the way down, decouple the wagons. In fact, no, we'll run the wagons up, um, up to Helter Fuels, reverse back into this siding. That would make no sense. So actually, we're going to pull them into the adjacent line. Um, then we're going to decouple grid, take it all the way down to the north reverse, reverse it back into this consist, have it on the back, drive this loco, which I'm not spoiling what it is, run it down to Newton, decouple that loco, send it up here to Hackney, and then run the grid on the consist. Because basically Build new line of core heritage. Is that it's going to 
forest. And the track of CPU is non existent. Ah, fair enough, Max. This is a junction, I don't know. Oops. So much for stopping to operate the barriers. Let's say the crew is already here to do that. But yeah. So we're going to have the grid operating basically all the runs. In fact, can I see the con system here? Yes. So, we can now reveal the loco that will be taking the con system down to Newton. It is 66848. In Cola Slivery again. So we'll be pulling into this here, this line. Just a run around. Then we'll be taking the grid, popping it on the back of this consist. 848 will run the consist down to Newton, decouple, pop into Hackney, and then 56, eight, uh, no, 56 302 will run the consist um, to Lens Afar. Fifteen's a bit slow. Let's open up the grid a bit more. Design so small, we're better off just it with a penny redeem you when it's rebuilt. Yeah, fair enough, Max. It's not the longest of lines at all. In a way, it's sort of comparable to the SDR. I'm just thinking, are we about to clobber 848? Oh crap, we might be able to. We might be about to. Rakes in this are quite slow to operate. Where's this? I feel I should probably know where this bit is. Hey, Mr. King, good evening. How are you doing? Time I'm seeking. It has been, yeah. It's been a while. Just going to throw it open on the amps. I'm going to push it close to 300 amp, well, 3000 amps. There's 300 amp, oh, 3000 amps. And there's 848. I'm going to go slower, because I don't want to clobber it. And if I do, I don't want it to be a serious clobber. I.e., we do well one of the two. Because I don't know about you, but I'm not going to try to rescue it. I don't fancy rescuing it either. Yep, so we've got, um, I think it's seven full, or oh, seven full, um, wagons of logs that will be taken. I am worried. 
speed that it is going to hit though. If it is, I can always... Actually, just to be safe, we are going to move it back. I'm just going to move it back to be safe. Did you see where the line further is? Just stop walking back and maybe it goes over and everything. So it's done for you. And just Max, they could very well do that, yeah. And the flying Scotsman, uh, flying Scotsman crashed into its coaches. It did, M. King, yeah. Quite a whack as well, because it was in the Grand Continental or Grand Continental Railways Discord, where someone posted a video of it. It slammed it really bloody hard. <laughs> It was a brutal crash into the coaches. Just open up a bit more because I know I'll be able to get past it now. With absolutely no problem. I don't want to go too quick. Ten will do. Let's say we'll decouple, couple to the back of eight four eight. Eight four eight will drag it in. We'll drag it up to Newton. Where uh, you know, it'll then be decoupled then to Hackney and then three oh two will run it all the way. Flying Scotsman for all. It depends, MC King. It does depend. Because. Hmm. The damage doesn't look too bad to the loco itself, from what I've seen. It just seems to be a bit dislodged and things. But. It, that was a hit and a half that it um, had. Obviously, not significant for it to be a write off, but. It couldn't have really hit those coaches much harder because there's rumour that it might have completely done the springs in on the coaches. And the force it hit the coaches with was enough to completely dislodge absolutely everything in the coaches. So hopefully the damage isn't too severe that it will be out of service for quite a while because obviously. It's part of the national collection. We kind of expect it to run, but there might be a possibility it's out of use for a while. Um, you'll pull forward, join the end of the loaded, with the loaded consist, and then that run, uh, that consist will run up to Newton with eight four eight leading, and then as I said, eight four eight will then go to Hackney, and then um, three oh two will run the consist all the way. Mimix, you he absolutely slammed into those coaches last night. Like mean, blimey.
one points. There we go. Flick those over. And that will just pop us straight back into the coaches. Oh, coaches? Wagons. the clag all the clags in the cab diesels all up on steam to a degree I'm thinking, yeah and yeah it is a good thing we have diesels but mm, depends how you look at the reliability state Because some, um, including most notably uh, the 55 Deltics, the Napiers in them are shockingly unreliable at times. Like for example, I think on the Deltic Reprise tour, um, well, no, the Capital Reprise, I believe it was, one of the engines failed, so it went down to one because they are dual engine locos. But, yeah. It depends what local you're talking about when um, mentioning that they're more reliable, uh, more reliable than steam. You know, so yeah, he did make it jump off the rails, and yeah, he did stall it. So pop that there. Pop into the 66. We've lost control of the loco because it thinks that the grid's all in it. There we go. So now I need to nudge back a bit. Key in. Right, and then drop the brakes. Go up if I popped it into reverse, wouldn't it? This is the loco of the most confidence in driving. Hopefully, the grid's just going to be dead on the back. Just set the points to get us out of here. And there we are. We're good for departure. Still Britannia on tour this weekend, them skiing. Interesting. I'll have to definitely take a look because I've. <laughs> this, well, let me reword that. I definitely will not say no to seeing a. Um, seeing Britannia again. And. Okay, mine's just playing tricks on me again. Oscar, good evening. How are you doing? Sixty six is clagging to no end. We've now got a lot more weight on the back of the locos this time, because we've actually got loaded wagons. But it seems Maybe the grid is giving power. Because we instantly went up to 27. <laughs> we nearly doubled the limit. This is a 15, but that's fine. Yeah, I'm doing alright, cheers, Oscar. Was absolutely shattered this morning. It was. You know, it was nothing short of shattered.
On the back is a blue 47 stone again. Interesting. And the do seem to like giving us our blue 47s. Although they also do seem to have a lot more on the front of um, we are greens as well. And you're like 98s, I'm just going. 98s? Oh, wait, they're steamers, aren't they? I think you forgot steamers were, um, well, these mainline registered ones are under 98. Because remember, it always confuses me. And sometimes on stream windows, it is like. I think once it was 98.828, but then I think that is actually the tops number for Gresley. This runs absolutely no effort for the shed though. Shed's having the best time of its life roaring this. I think the grid is giving us assistance. Though it's not notching up. Oh no. Oh, the grid did notch up, so it is providing us some power. Randomly spamming tones. Have you rail tour app showing pictures of Britannia? The 18th. Interest Max. I definitely would not say no to seeing Britannia again though. It is a beautiful loco. Probably one of my favourite LSL steamers. I'm totally not biased because I've been on the footplay of that one. But there's 37, red or black, I'm just kidding. Is there any locos in black? But 37 in red. Mm, DB red on a 37. Doesn't look like it works, if I'm honest. But a 37 in... Maybe we are lined black. I'm not sure. I thought that could work, like, probably the best. Rocketing on the team race. <laughs> Your favourite six six is six six oh nine seven max. <laughs> yep, yeah, because you capped that one last night, didn't you? Because I believe that one was Peyton facing, unless my memory's completely got bust, which it probably has. Let's be honest. We are cleared all the way to Newton. Thanks, you're so lucky for cabin the 
shed last night. The best diesel horn. I'm just getting out of 37, 57, or 66. That's a difficult one. Because there's derivatives for the 37s and 66s. Because with the 66s, you've got the original, the new variant, and the Euro variant. As 37s, you have loads of different pitches. On 57s, I think you only have one pitch. Based on the fact that it's only one pitch for the 57, I'm going to rule that one out. I'm not sure that I can pick between the 37 and 66 though, I'm just kidding. Both can be quite tuneful. Dimmer doesn't work. Looks like a little abandoned siding off the side there. This is the road I was thinking of earlier. So here you can see mostly down. It's quite overgrown. Think about here. They've got um, two sort of old wooden buffers sort of in the shape of the next, just to block the line. Well, they're looking down here. That does seem about right. And also down there you've got King's Dayton, by the way. It's sort of the main road into King's Dayton from the town. Just see 302, um, he's spitting a bit of clag. But yeah, here at King Staten, it's not an accurate representation. Because I think about here, you have a Tesco, they have the petrol station, um, beef eater, race course, a massive race course here. Um, I'll just quickly pop up to the station though, because I, I do need to keep an eye on what we're doing up here. But yeah, best steam sound, Gresley or Flying Scotsman? That is difficult. I'm just kidding. Because they both have really nice whistles. As to the actual bark, can't really judge on that one. I'm just kidding. Can't really judge on that. probably seen is Dutch Sutherland Max. Yeah, it's quite a nice loco if I'm honest. And you miss it after its recent overhaul. Yeah. Hopefully it'll be back soon enough though. Because I think there's probably quite a lot of people that miss it. You're back, Oscar. Welcome back. Bingo board. DPWS is in the normal position. I don't know then. God, that'll more than do for the rundown. Jeez. I've got a lot of space back here. So 
drop that into initial. Decouple 828. Or 848, sorry. We'll quickly go to the turn back. Let's say we're cleared. Of course it's not going to shift because I haven't popped into forward. There we go. Best out of rail to all freight I'm skiing. Can't go wrong with a tour, can you? Tours easily trump anything else. But freight is a very, very, very close second. It's because there's so many varieties you can have with freight. Oh, of course, because I've spadded, because I can't really set a route, it's gone and dumped to me emergency brake. It's an easy way to get out of this. Should be a key in, key out. Come on! Stop, please, if I break. The man like goes out. Oh, don't you dare. Okay, good. Oh, God, don't tell me I have to wait the 60 seconds. Oh, God. Come on, break the man. So all that light's lit. Oh, it's just a case of resetting the brakes. Okay. But yeah. 6-6 six, six is an extra seat. <laughs> 6 6 I haven't done. Yeah, Max. The line 7. Yeah, it must be the best ever. We've got the second man seat here. just takes off. It's like doodles <laughs> and off it goes. They are absolute rocket ships. Oh wait, my local brakes still initial. Oh dear. Oh great, you're telling me it's not going to let me go over. Lovely. Stop anywhere from here. Just want to add the platform too, so yeah, fine. Oh yes, the S one sixty, the American steamer that was only meant to last. What was it? Ninety days, wasn't it? Look at them now. Key in, daylights, clear us over into platform two, or we'll clear ourselves into platform two, he says. Great. We are confined to being on the up main. Okay. Don't bother me, they could just be shut down here. You can take the grid from here. Pop our good. Oh. Pop our lights on. Piers, Frith, TS says an RHTT. It does, Max, yeah. 
Um, annoying thing is, it's part of the Just Trains Class 20 Advanced, which is 22 quid. Everything in the Train Some community is just pricey as. And here goes the grid. Doing what the Paxman was meant to do. Sun screen. That lovely Paxman screen. And to collect to no prevail. There we go. On the logs. Let's actually do a DVD on this thing. Interesting. And there goes, yeah, seven. Yeah, best Reggio Say Loco or S160. S160 by a mile, I'm scared. Especially the. Um, Red S160 that the PDSR own, or PDSR own, which is Omara. It's currently at a show, I believe. I keep getting messages. But yeah. By the way, we have a. Um, we're here in Hackney. We have Transrail and also UKRL Loco. It happens to be 081, which I think GBRF bought for tour, I believe. We also have 56123. Just sat there, idling, doing their things. While um, 302 absolutely flying on the main line. Yeah, the best start steam railway. On and off him skin. That's quite a good loco. Quite a good um, railway to be honest. The uh, dovetail do love making people spend money, although sometimes they're bundled with other locos, but that just makes price go through the roof. Miss TSC, I'm just going. Well, we're on TSC at the moment. It's not quite a goner. Still going strong. He saw 5681 earlier on. Very nice, Oscar. In fact, yeah, I did note that you sent me your video of it. I'll have a look at that in a bit. Hey, you're off, I'm just Right, have a good evening. Yeah, sorry, just had to rush you those quickly. Um, be a Western on TSWs. Basically, 8 quid. Yeah. Is a pain, but mm, usually with JT they bundle things in. Although the Met line, it is a pain because it does cost a load. I think with the RHTT it's um, 22, it was about 22 quid for what I believe is the 20 in DRS delivery and a couple of others, as well as um, the FNA nuclear flasks and the RHTT equipment. Um, I wanted them to get it for ages. Might get it at some point. But yeah. There's other routes like the Met line, which is I think twenty-four quid for the base route and then So like eleven quid each for I think the S seven and the S seven plus one I believe. And then the S eight. So 
so it is rather annoying given the cost of everything but unfortunately the 20 is never ever on sale if I remember correctly the last JT sale I think it was one of the only locos to not be on sale Oh, you're joking if I've, just, if I've just had a brake dump. Okay, it's just generally losing speed. But, yeah. It is always annoying that the choppers are never on discount. But I might get it at some point just so we can do nuclear flasks and the RHTT. We have got an MPV for the RHTT. This is sort of the debut run of the logs for me on the Riviera. Because I haven't done really a logging journey just yet. It's not my first run. Timmouth and we'll get another flying shot through. I should go here on this platform. Pins a bit early there. To, um, we'll pop onto the seawall here now. I swear I pressed Control S for a screenshot. Never mind. I've got other chances. So we'll head down here. Up here towards Spray Point. So I've got 75 here now. It's not in the best of times. I'm trying to work this. But we'll throw 302 back open. Hello, Clegg from 302. Yeah, I'm just going. It's just kicking up a bit of a hellstorm. <laughs> but, yeah. I know there's a YouTuber who once did a video of a grid on the logs on the seawall. I think it might be Revider McVeigh, I think. Actually, I think it was of a grid. Yeah, on the logs. 
but the clag that thing was kicking out much more than 302's doing. I think you noted it as being an environmental nuisance, or making an environmental nuisance of itself. But it's quite nice. You have a proper claggy loco. There we come, along the seawall. That's. Mate, seriously. Let's now position the camera like that. But yeah, um. That's where Oscar. Um. Considering the time, we might only take the Strex to Riverside. As there's a couple of things I want to get done. Sort of over the next hour and a quarter. Well, I think by the time we get to Exeter, it'll be about 8 o'clock, so from then, there's just a couple of things I wanted to sort out before 9 ish. Even though today I've got a lot done. Ah, looks like I might have forgotten to put the um, full load consist on here. Looks like we've got full load, full load, medium load, full, medium, full, full. But yeah, regardless, um, yeah, 302, let's see, wall. So yeah, now we're heading up towards Langston Rock, okay, here. We're going to position ourselves in the usual spot, just about here. We'll see it fly around. And then pass solish one. So looks mega for screenshots. It really, really, really does. Let's we'll see it from this side. Actually, if we go from this side, we'll be able to get a better sort of flying past screenshot if the AI won't get in my way. I don't think they will. Kind of. Go straight up to the end of the platform here. Right up to the end. Get a good screenshot here. And then we'll now just see it fly. Past. But yeah. Down to the 80 between um, Dawlish Warren and Starcross. Still running the good signals. into the game. But yeah, all well the speed's only gonna go down seventy five. We're only doing seventy point seven, so basically seventy one. We'll do fine. 
There's no need to slow down. That's quite a screenshot. And quite the shot there in it around the corner. Sort of into an S curve. No hair it passed. I don't know where my whistle board is. There it is. I'm going up here to Star Cross so I can see it somewhat. Eh, maybe I'll have to play a bit of guesswork. I think this is meant to be a class 6 freight, which means we should only really be allowed to do 60 miles per hour, but we're pushing it to 75, meaning we're basically promoting it to be a class 4. I just noticed we had a whistleboard there, um, so we'll just pop up here to the usual crossing. Start as a cry when we zoom into the clag. This will be a shot. Up by what I think is meant to be Powerdom Castle up there. again. Bit of, uh, be a bit of a lag. Spike, for the most part, is um, to a degree... I'd hope if I knew what I was going to say first, wouldn't it? Um, Bit of a lag spike as you get shared and clag. But now let's see what this grid has got to give. streams until 100. As for if I'd prefer a lot of tones or a lot of clag, Oscar, um, Obviously both would contribute to the perfect shot, but hmm, I'd probably say a lot of tones, because that's perhaps what people draw more attention to. Let's 
to a sport. Let's go just to like tones will drag a lot more people to a focus. I feel like a lot more more tones sort of drag more people to a subject maybe. Whereas a lot of clag helps a lot with photography. Because it sort of in a way gives the viewer a lot more to look at. It also sort of gives a focal point. I have no idea how to analyse photography just yet. I'm meant to be doing that in a photography lesson at some point soon. Sort of. Oh. Yeah, probably sort of analyse a focal point. Block lag. Yeah, it'd be good for the thumbnail. We would ask you, yeah. I'm just seeing if on my camera. If I've got any good examples of a lot of clack. I don't think I do, unfortunately. It's a bit annoying. I did get a lot of nighttime shots last night. Just amazing. Get this AWS. So I did miss it before with Clan 9. I don't want to repeat that again. I'll get a good shot flying through Mash Barton. If AI wasn't going to walk into my way, so we'll pop back a bit. But here it comes. Grid in all its glory. That's a bit late. But now you need to immediately power it down and stop in its brakes. V instead of B, so <laughs> we had a bit of white bridge, but I'll just make sure we're set into Riverside. Good reception. Good enough. That would do me. So we'll cut back to step one. Double yellows now. It's because we're going to be under perhaps a shunt on our way in, on our way through St David's. So that means we do need to slow down considerably. It's the one sign. <laughs> and I managed to mess up a screenshot with it. So yeah, at this point... Unless I looked at my timings, I wouldn't know what platform I'm going into. It's not been given a good signal. So now I've got no root indicator, and I'm going straight on, which is platform 5. Aha, but now, as you can see, I've got two white shunts, which means I'm cleared for shunt only, so this, well, in this case, shunting would be going into extra riverside. Which is realistic. Because we we might 
potentially get a cautionary, but we would not get a proceed. Two white shunts is what I've seen used before for things going into extra riverside. So that's a bonus. Oh, damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it. As you might have been able to hear by that rushing hiss of air from the grid, we've just had a brake dump. We have just had an emergency brake dump, so... Um, this is going great. The brakes are now just recharging themselves. So there we go. And the brakes are completely dropped. We can now pull forward again. That's embarrassing. Quite a good run to fail literally at the final hurdle. In this case the final signal. But 302's given it. Is a real wagon. Yeah, we don't talk about the Oscar. Uh, not at all. Nothing happened. If they ask, we had a failure. Not a driver error. Or maybe, to the managers we could play off as, um, we were testing the system. So going to the um, goods reception. The up goods reception. Um, and then I think the departure will be here, so. Yeah, we're good. Just need to roll over and into the yard. <laughs> yeah, so I need to check them. <laughs> yeah, obviously in real life we wouldn't do that. We'd have to be completely honest because. In these you've got data recorders, the OTDR, on-train data recorder, and they'd be easily able to find out whether you're lying if you're not. But in-game, let's say it like that doesn't exist. Because in real life it doesn't. Oh, well, in-game it doesn't, I mean. Trains, good evening, how are you doing? Of the 56 trains? Yeah, I think we all do. The only real surviving Paxman. It's all of the Paxman Valenta engine. The only other one is in 41001, the prototype HST. It's now way clear of the stop board where well, if someone else was to couple to the other end. And that is a respectful stop. The Riverside Yard up goods reception. So from, he so from here. Engine off. We will just quickly set these to tail. So as, as, uh, so as far as I'm concerned, 56302 is completely secured. 
I saw a great deal the other day at your couple to 70 56 049. Very nice trains. Very nice indeed. We've just been operating um, 56 302 up from Newton Abbott basically. So, yeah. But yeah. Because we can, let's have a quick overview of the stock we've been, or stock we've been using. So obviously, the BR56 is the only real mainline loco at the moment that still uses a uh, um, Pax and Valenta, apart from the VP185s. Um, but yeah, we've had it in sort of a weathered colus. Very claggy low coat has been. And behind it, we have had seven log wagons. Be helpful if I found out what they're actually called. The KSA wagons. So it's seven loaded KSA wagons, all hauling basically a full load of timber. So you've put up from basically Team Grace um, and we've brought it here to X Riverside where another driver will take it onwards best diesel locos are the 5633's trains yeah I suppose so I'd also add the 37 onto that though as if we can have a start up indeed we can Engine only. We'll hop down. I'll mute my mic. Enjoy the startup. That kicked up a bit of a storm. But yeah. I don't think you could very much hear at the start. But it's a proper start up. Can't restart from engine off state. But yeah, we'll shut it back down though, just so you've completely got this secured. We'll pop it into emergency so we know this is secured. Pop the logo brake into full as well. Just so if anyone wanders in here. They know that this is secured. I'm happy this loco still actually works. Light's good. These wagons are going absolutely nowhere. But yeah. All parked up. You can hear the spirit itself going off. To dispel um, compressed water. Don't know if you could hear it there. You can just hear it taken off in the background. But yeah. Now we have made it to Exeter. Thing and put the handbrake on the wagons. I don't think it's possible to apply the handbrake in game uh, trains, although we can dump the parking brake on this. But I don't think we can do the wagons themselves. So there's no indicator. So we've got our parking brake dumped. Be 
Tesco trains. Doesn't seem like we can do it from here. From the handbrake. Um, and there's no sort of passenger view of any kind. Oh! Oh, I see what you know, mean, no trains, yeah. I'll dump the handbrake on these. Let's actually turn the handles to. That's a shame. That'd have been proper for immersion. It's got the rear three to dump. So, here, dump this one, dump this one, and we'll go dump this one. So these are now literally going nowhere, because yeah, the brakes have been dumped everywhere possible on this. If we were to proper shut it down, we'd have the lights off here. We'd also have a tail lamp so in the night people can actually tell that we exist. In that case I'll just put the tail lights on. On the other end though, we have already got our tail lamp, so no need to put that one on. But now we're at Exeter. Pop up the ending screen. It is Pfft, what a day this has been today though. Yeah, one thing I need to know if I ever do that scenario again is take off the parking brake off all the wagons. <laughs> Otherwise, it'll be a definition of um, drag and brake. Are your friends in Wales and Sora 56? Very nice trains. Uh, o line six. Is that by any chance on the RHTT trains? Because I know the RHTTs are running now. But yeah. In Shrewsbury. It might have been the RHTT then trains. Let me have a quick look. See if there's actually been an RHTT up in there. It looks like the trains that there is something running a circuit on three Sierra five two path as diesel at sixty. might very well be. Um, but yeah. See you trains. Have a good evening. But yeah. On to the outro. So that is stream 98 complete. We now only have one stream separating us from stream 100. The moment we've all been waiting for. Yeah, stream 100 is going to be quite the mental one. So, it might not be Friday because I need to get everything ready with that, to be honest. So, it might be that I spend the weekend preparing the scenario and we delay the stream to potentially later on the weekend to end off the week perhaps on the Sunday. Um, but yeah. The stream 100 is going to be mental. But yeah, stream 99. The plan for that should be that that will fall on Thursday or tomorrow. Um, you know, it'll be yeah, either tomorrow or Thursday. That we'll do nine or stream ninety nine, then we will sort of delay until stream one hundred. Is yeah, it's all fun to keep it going somewhat. So yeah, just now stream 
99 might be the last one. Potentially for most of this working week is I don't know if we'll be able to do stream 100 on Friday. Um, which means we might have to um, cancel our Friday slot this week. Um, and then delay stream 100 to maybe Saturday or Sunday. Because I'll probably be working on creating the scenario. Um, yeah. Probably yeah, go work on a scenario Friday. And probably do it most of the day Sunday. Or Saturday perhaps. If I know I can't do Saturday, I can maybe do Sunday. But yeah. That will be a story for when it happens. Um, as for if I can do an 800 or 43, I could very well do trains, yeah. Um, but it'll be a case of when, as and when. As for Instagram, um, Instagram was not an official Instagram for the channel. Um, and there probably won't be for the foreseeable. But yes, I have waffled on for nearly one and a half hours. So I'll end off the stream this evening. But yeah, thank you very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed. And I will hope to see you for stream 99, the last one before 100. Take care all. See you then.